Good afternoon, it's Lindsay Gramont again. I did a video earlier this morning and have labeled it part one. So this is part two of my tips for a healthy holidays and being sure that you can stay healthy, keep a healthy immune system when you're traveling and when you're around a lot of sick people. So if you haven't watched the first video, go and do that now. You can catch it in this group or if you uh, maybe caught this via somebody sharing it in their group, you can head over to youtube.com forward slash hmademommy to catch um, both videos, okay? All right, so the first video I went through and explained how the immune system works and also how we can rethink the root cause of illness and disease. And, you know, just kind of going through the different theories, um, the germ theory versus the pleomorphism theory, or in short, basically saying that we need to have a healthy terrain and how we respond to illness depends on our mind, body, and spirit. So if you agree with that, raise your hand and let me know um, what I had to cut it off early and do two parts because I've got a baby napping now. Thankfully, he's napping again. Um, but let me just get back to where we left off. And again, get out your pen and paper because I'm about to rattle off a list a mile long uh, for you, for your babies, for your kids, ways that you can stay healthy. Because I don't know about you, but all I know is I just want to take oils and put oils on that are going to keep me healthy. It's much easier to stay healthy than it is to recover from being sick. So I know a lot of times we want to come in the groups and we want to ask, okay, hey, I've got a sore throat. Hey, I've got a cough, all this stuff. But that means you're already sick. And what this video is about is keeping us well. So all of these oils that I'm going to be talking about are keys to keeping us well. Just to keep this super short and super simple, I'm not going to go into the how of why oils, you know, keep us well, but I am going to list out what I love and what I keep on hand. And over the past four years of being with Young Living, what I have heard recommended to me in a lot of different ways to, you know, keep us emotionally healthy, to keep us spiritually healthy, to um, keep our immune systems healthy, to keep our digestive systems healthy, basically just to have, for me, that all gets summed up into us having a healthy terrain. And what we talked about in the first video was you are able to stay healthy if you have a healthy terrain. Obviously, there are germs around us all the time. The question is, why do some people get sick and some people not get sick? So whatever, it's neither here nor there, but these are the oils that I use every day in my home during this time of year. So let's go through it. Get your pen and paper out, take notes, uh, share this with whoever you think needs this information. I think everybody does and this is a passion of mine and I have a ton of resources on my blog at homemademommy.net around a healthy diet. So lots of recipes, lots of ways to stay healthy and eat well. Um, the first main point to this talk here is to, again to eat those fermented foods. There's a ton of recipes on my blog for doing this, for making sauerkraut and all of that. But really, what's the point in that? That's to get the good bugs into your body. The good bugs are super important. And anyone who has followed my blog since the very beginning is obsessed with sauerkraut. So comment below if you love your sauerkraut and fermented condiments. All of those recipes are on my blog. I don't really talk about it that much in here, but I am not just an oiler. Food is very, very important to the whole equation here. So even if you just have a bite of a fermented food with every meal, taking your probiotics, taking your enzymes, super important. Life 9 from Young Living is a fantastic probiotic and I have been using probiotics for years um, and I just have really enjoyed this one. I think it works super, super well. Um, it's got nine like million different strains of 
bacteria and they all work in concert together and they don't fight with each other and there's not a lot of added or any added fillers, which is very important. Um, one thing I'll note about the probiotic is yes, uh, you should store it in the fridge. Um, if you have some that you want to take with you on a trip, it's totally fine to not have them refrigerated for the trip. The refrigeration merely just slows down the fermentation process um, so that they last longer. Um, if you do put them in a high heat environment, then they probably would kill them off. But it's okay when you're traveling to just take, you know, a few with you and to not have them refrigerated during your trip. But if you do have a fridge in your hotel room or something like that, definitely pop them in there because they're going to be that much more potent for that much longer. So um, I tend to do one or two capsules at bedtime. Um, for my baby, I sprinkle a whole capsule of Life 9 on his breakfast every morning. Yes, I do. Definitely do that. We need those good bugs. So any way I can get it into him is beneficial. So I do a whole capsule and I've been doing it with my infant since the beginning because he was born via C-section and had antibiotics the first day of his life. And I am just going to say that I want to support his gut any way that I can. So that's first things first. The second thing is keeping your house clean with the thieves cleaner um you know you've got to keep your house clean you've got to keep it clean in a non-toxic way um, we want to make sure that we again are balancing um all of the the things in our home and thieves cleaner is an excellent way to do that um they you know dirt and germs and yucky stuff lasts a lot longer than we think and so it is important to keep our house clean obviously um Okay, diffuse. Let's diffuse oils. What are my favorite oils to diffuse to keep my house clean and fresh and to keep the air clear? I would say 12 to 15 drops of these following blends. Thieves, Purification, Eucalyptus Blue, Eucalyptus Globulus, RC, Raven, Exodus 2, and Exodus 2, you don't need to do that many drops. I would do like a couple drops of Exodus 2 and then maybe a bunch of lemon mixed with it. Melrose is another great one to diffuse. Um, you can add to any of these blends. I like to add like one to two drops of oregano, mountain savory, or lemongrass. Those are your powerhouses, okay? If you don't need very much of them, just like one to two drops. But like at night in my daughter's room this time of year, um, or in, even in my room, um, I will do lemongrass and thieves. That is just awesome. And lemongrass, big 15 ml bottle for like, what is it, $11, something crazy. It's cheap, okay? And it is powerful, powerful. So I've done a post about that before, but those are great oils to, blends to diffuse. As far as singles go, the best bang for your buck is going to be Ravensara, Lemongrass, Idaho Blue Spruce, which is probably coming available pretty soon because they're going through harvest. Um, in the winter is when you'll see that that um, comes back and when it does, definitely grab some because Idaho Blue Spruce is very special. Um, really great for just totally balancing your whole system and your body and all of your emotions. Very grounding oil, excellent oil to diffuse and breathe in. It's a great oil to breathe in. Hyssop, awesome. Hyssop, you will see hyssop mentioned in the Bible many, many times for its purifying properties. Do some research on it. Hyssop is fantastic. A couple of drops of that with a bunch of lemon or lemongrass. Awesome. Thyme is another fantastic one. Lemon myrtle, basil, okatea, lemon, as I mentioned before, and tea tree. Okay, so I tend to mix it up. You know, a lot of times we will just be stuck with one thing, like thieves. We think, oh, thieves is what everyone says is the one. But I like to rotate all of these single oils with thieves or even just in combination with each other. I love doing Ravensara and lemongrass. Um, hyssop is a great one, like I said. Um, even black spruce. So last night I just diffused Ravensara, lemongrass, and black spruce. Wonderful combination 
super purifying of the air. These are the oils you want to rotate around this time of year. And yes, I think it does make a difference to have a variety. Your body is going to respond differently to all of these and you just never know what's going on emotionally and emotions are really the basis for a lot of our stress. So I just think the combination of these is really good. So put these all on your list. Again, the Blends Thieves Purification, Eucalyptus Blue and Globulus, um, RC, Raven, Exodus 2, Melrose, Eucalyptus Blue and Globulus are not blends. Sorry, I have that on my blends list. I'll have to fix that. Um, singles. So again, Eucalyptus Blue, Eucalyptus Globulus, Ravensara, Lemongrass, Idaho Blue Spruce. I love Idaho Black Spruce. You're getting it free in December. Hyssop, Thyme, Lemon Myrtle, and Basil. Basil is a really good one. Okatea which is not available right now, but should be eventually. We do grow that in Ecuador. Lemon and tea tree. Okay, here are some of my favorite diffusing combos. Again, 12 to 15 drops total this time of year. You want to get them in the air, okay? Um, is Ravensara and Lemon Myrtle. Smells really good. Thieves and Lemon, Purification and Lemongrass. Eucalyptus Blue and Lemongrass, Basil and Lemon Myrtle, Okatea and Lime, that's a yummy one. I love that. Okatea's got like kind of that sweet cinnamon flavor or smell. That's a good one. Lemon Loris Nobilis, which I'm gonna talk a little bit more about in a minute, and Hyssop. So um, Loris Nobilis, very grounding, very, um, a very important oil. It, uh, you can see it's like a named, it kind of evokes like a Roman, like, Crown, I guess you could think of. But um, another tip that I have gotten over the years is to sprinkle some lemon and Loris Nobilis on the top of the head and kind of brush it through the hair. I'm actually wearing some today. Smells incredible. I did a post on it in my group. You can do a search for it. Um, but really, really protective emotionally this time of year. Perfect perfect for this and just such an easy thing that you can do uh, every day just to put a couple drops on the head really amazing okay let's talk about topically what we can do um, I love you know the simplest thing thieves and oregano in a roll-on and applying applying that on the bottoms of the feet morning and night um, I also like to rotate in hyssop or exodus 2 maybe every other day on the bottoms of the feet. I personally put Inu Power, heard that tip from Danette Goodyear a number of years ago and love just putting a drop. I mean, if you really are kind of lazy and just want a mix of oils, um, then just use Inu Power. It's excellent. Put a drop on your feet, rub it in every night before you go to bed. Okay, and what about your baby? So, on, you know, I keep some roll-ons next to, um, just on the diaper changing table. And just at diaper changes, you can roll this on the bottom of your baby's feet. Um, whatever your comfort level is for dilution, that's totally up to you. I'm just gonna name the oils and you figure out what you wanna do with them. You can mix a couple of them together or you can just do them by themselves, but I would definitely rotate them around. Um, Either way is okay. So Loris Nobilis, again, Eucalyptus Blue, Melrose, Lemon, Lemon Myrtle. Do you guys see a pattern here? Myrtle, RC, Purification, Hyssop, Okatea, and the powerhouse of powerhouses, Melissa. Okay, pick any one of those or a combination. Put them on at the diaper changing table on the bottoms of the feet. What about kids? What about kids? You can apply these on the bottom of their feet. Um, you want to make sure the bottoms of the feet are covered. Um, you can do, again, any combination or maybe just one by itself. Um, eucalyptus blue, Idaho blue spruce, hyssop, thyme, basil, okatea, lemon, lemon myrtle, lemongrass, or exodus two. So you're going to see kind of a pattern here. Really top six favorites are Melissa, Okatea, Basil, Eucalyptus Blue, and Ravensara. Copaiba, also Copaiba Vitality, is fantastic for supporting your body's response to irritations. 
which we've talked about. This is like really keeping your body in a healthy terrain. Kofi by Vitality is huge. So add that to your Ningxia Red every day. I just want to tell you which oils are hot feeling. Um, so you definitely want to make sure these are applied to the bottom of the feet. Thieves, lemongrass, Exodus 2, oregano, and mountain savory. Uh, as far as vitalities go, let's talk about taking these oils internally. So when I am around, when I'm traveling, I, it doesn't matter where I'm going. If I am out of my normal routine or if I've been under stress, uh, I will make a capsule. And right now I am nursing, so I leave out some things that I'm going to say that you should probably put in just because I find I'm, my lymphs are sensitive to them. Um, so, but this is not something that everyone has an issue with. I have just found that I personally do. So my favorite capsule when I'm not nursing is to do a couple of drops of thieves, a couple of drops of frankincense, maybe even up to five drops of frankincense vitality, um, two drops of lemon vitality, and a few drops of oregano vitality. Now I rotate that quite a bit and we'll do um, mountain savory. Mountain Savory Vitality, I love. I don't know, I don't know, all I know is I like it better than oregano, so it might be one that you want to try that you didn't know about before, but Mountain Savory is just fantastic. It is a single oil that is not a blend. It is an herb, um, just like oregano, but it's called Mountain Savory, and it smells like an Italian kind of herb and it's fantastic. So what I do while nursing, so if you're a nursing mommy, put the little breastfeeding icon or emoji in here. Um, I do Mountain Savory, two drops, one or two drops. I do like five drops of frankincense and I do a couple drops of copaiba. That's what I do while I'm nursing. So anything with citrus oils for me while I'm nursing just seems to like make it make my baby fussy. So I don't know if it's that my supply is going down or what, but I've definitely noticed something, but it does not happen to everyone. Just you got to experiment with it and pay attention. That's all I can say. You got to pay attention. So I love that again, a couple drops of mountain savory, five drops of Frank and a couple drops of Copaiba. And I will just make up those capsules. Again, those are all vitality oils and I will bring them with me on my trip along with all of my other supplements. Um, another precaution, if you you know heard all those oils before, if you can take hyssop internally, but you shouldn't take more than two drops orally at, at, in, a, in a day. And same with oregano, um, you don't need more than a couple drops of oregano, two or three drops in a day. You just, it, it's a strong oil. You don't need more than that. I would think same with the Mountain Savory. These are powerful oils. The Vitality, these are all Vitalities. I just don't always say the word Vitality, but they are all Vitality oils. You don't want to, you don't need to take so many of them. Um, definitely, you know, can amp up more of the citrus oils or the frankincense or whatever, um, but those hotter oils you don't need um, so much of. All right, if you just don't want to make up your own capsules, with the veggie capsules, which you can order from Young Living. And there's a really cool little wooden block you can put your capsules in to fill them up. But if you're kind of just like, I could just buy a capsule, couldn't I? You can. Inner Defense is a fantastic capsule that is made um, of thieves, oregano, and thyme. Take it with food. You can take one to four capsules daily. Uh, another suggestion is longevity capsules. Those have frank, orange, thyme, and clove. Super fantastic. Um, both of those are really great to take on a daily basis to support the immune system. I find I'm pretty sensitive to oregano, so I, that's why I like Mountain Savory better. But again, this is why you don't just wanna get one thing and think, well, that's what everything is gonna be like. No, you want to try and experiment with different things. You might find that you like something else better than one or the other. And so how do I know that I like it better? You'll know. You'll know. Your body knows and will tell you. Okay, um, another option is Immupro. 
It is a chewable. You can give it to your kids. I wouldn't do it all the time, but when you're traveling, be great. They taste like little raspberry chewable kind of things. Um, they're very tasty and great for supporting the immune system. And you can take it at nighttime because it's got some melatonin in it. Um, Ninja Red. I cannot stress this enough. Ninja Red. When you're traveling, I would, you know, normally you say kind of on a daily basis, one to two ounces is you're good to go. Um, but I definitely up it to four to six ounces, maybe even more um, when I'm around, you know, a lot of negative influence. Let's put it that way. Um, Ninja Red, really important. It is super boosting you know, antioxidants um, and really supportive of the immune system. So get your Ninja on and you can put oils in there too if you don't have any capsules. You probably have a lot of these oils. You probably just didn't realize how great they were. So I just went through a really long list. I hope you wrote them all down. I repeated them a number of times, but those oils that I mentioned every single person who is a member with Young Living should have them. Get the Vitality versions, get whatever versions you want, use them in any of the three ways. Very helpful. Supporting the healthy terrain, mind, body, spirit, stress, emotions, immune system, you name it, those oils are important. The other point is to keep your mouth clean. Yeah. Keep your mouth clean. You need the Young Living toothpaste, also the mouthwash. You can add oils, in Vitality oils, into the mouthwash and rinse your mouth and gargle with them will really be excellent, okay? Gargle with them to support your, just like a clean, healthy, healthy mouth, okay? And obviously you can add in your cough drops, to help to soothe anything um, that is going on in your mouth. Those are fantastic. The first moment that I feel something like that, I go for my cough drop. The key thing also is just to make sure your body isn't stressed. So adding all of these in, there again, it's all for supporting a healthy terrain. So the oils that I mentioned, super supportive. You can add in all of these are emotional oils. If you are curious about the emotional side of them, you can definitely search in the group for my posts about a number of them. You know, you might just not realize that I post about these things all the time. Um, a lot of them though were from maybe a couple of years ago. So you'll probably see them being bumped up as people watch this video. The other thing is any um, emotional oils that you tend to go to for your own um, occasional stress, so things like Stress Away or Valor or Peace and Calming, um, you might be surprised at how supportive those can be um, in times of increased stress like the holidays or whatever. So hopefully this was helpful. I bet you heard about a lot of oils that you didn't think um, maybe you're just using basil for cooking and you're like, wow, I didn't realize that I could diffuse that and that it would be so helpful. Or I didn't realize that I should, I could like mix that in and apply that to my feet. Um, and that it would be so helpful for keeping my body healthy. It does. It does. Okay. Any questions, comment below and I will be sure to upload this to YouTube. Again, you can check out my YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash hmademommy. Stay healthy this holiday season. Stay healthy year round. Don't try and not use anything and then get sick and then feel like you're climbing out of a hole. Believe me, it's much easier to just roll these things on, to take these capsules, to support your body in the best way that you can, to de-stress, to just breathe. Have a wonderful, wonderful holiday and a happy new year. Bye-bye.